Hi guys. So I'm gonna start this live stream nice and easy to let people tap in. I am sitting in this forest on the top of Normafa and uh, I don't know how good the connection is. So I just uh, gonna wait and see if anyone is gonna comment so I know that you are online. <laughs> Maybe the first thing I should do is asking Prof. Pauline, hi! <laughs> can you can you see me and can you hear me and everything? Okay, so Pauline, please let me know when it's 11 11. I will just start sharing and um yeah <laughs> it's been a since since been a while since i made these uh these live streams and a lot has been going on um i will start the channeling when channeling oh yeah well then 88 gate talking at 11 11 so you guys have a few minute more minutes to tap in do, do, do. <laughs> hmm. So, I don't know about you guys, but for me it feels like this summer has been an adventure in so many ways. One thing is all the changes there's going on in the world, another thing is all the changes that we are facing within. Um, and all the situations that we have been put through where we can see ourselves um, in a new way <laughs> and maybe in an old way the funny thing I think I'm just gonna start slowly we are 13 people here so the funny thing about this 88 gate in Lion is that um, for me I am Lion in my moon which means I have absolutely felt this one I felt it because the my emotional system and uh, what drives me is the fire within my heart right and my the lion within me which is this fire emotion expression pride <laughs> uh, have, woo, hey you have truly uh, represented itself in this time I've been facing all the negative sides of it, which means my self-image and my self-love, my self-pride, my self-recognition uh, and my self-value. This is something that for me in the beginning of my life was something I deal dealt with a lot, was something that... Um, I didn't fully have it was something I needed to learn but these voices are still representatives in the inner and for me since the new moon actually before that since the last full moon and until now this has been represented so beautifully in so many ways and so many forms and the, the good part of it is that when you face the negative side, when you face these things of disbelief that you went through, the beginning of your life and so forth, you can also really face the positive side. You can look into where do I stand now? How do I stand within my worth, my truth, my honor in this now? And there's something that I feel I have learned is that a proud heart isn't good but you need to oh my god these butterflies are so cute oh <laughs> because within pride there's also a part of neglect there's a part where you do not see the other but a heart there is open and stay true to oneself this is what can move you through life so um the eight eight gate is a gate of new beginnings many people will look at it as a beginning of a new job a new for some people a new partner a new adventure a new part within their life a new arrow that they enter 
for other people this is a new gate of letting go of the old beliefs of oneself and stepping into a more balanced way of seeing yourself the lion gate is all about empowerment and all about the heart all about standing true within yourself and standing within your truth but it's also about standing together because if there's something a lion does it is that it loves and it loves deeply and it will do everything it can for those it loves so by loving the world by loving ourselves we can change the world reality but it is but it's so important that we we dare to step into our hearts and we dare to look into the true value of our own path and the true value of our own being. And from there and forwards, it's all about standing within that truth, within this new era, within this new way. So as the 8-8 Lion Gates are inviting you to step into this new part of yourself, we also invite you to step into this new part of yourself in order of taking part in the collective so we together can recreate a better world for us all. I know a lot of people are still in fear and stuff like that and there will be a lot of heavy stuff, no doubt about it, but the only way through it is by going through it and is by doing it from the heart, from the center of our hearts and um, not fearing whatever moves us but also choosing to go for the flow of the heart hi Heidi beauty um, yes so that being said if any of you have any questions or anything you would like to add just write it in these comments below I will definitely read it and uh, for the rest I feel we could do this 8-8 gate meditation just to open up and to let go of whatever doesn't serve us and allow the light to stream down upon us and bring exactly what we need for our new beginning so planting the feet on the ground and allowing yourself to feel from your toes all the way up to your knees and up to your hip Feeling the groundation in your root chakra and all the way up to the heart chakra, the solar plexus, to the heart or to the throat and the third eye. From there we open up our crown chakra and allow the light to stream down upon us through our whole body system and just wash every single cell clean and we feel it with love. Every breath that we take in is the new energy and every breath we pushed out is letting go of the old of which do not serve us anymore. with yourself for a while and feel where the energy draws you to within your body system do you have any tensions do I have any centers that wish to speak up and if you do so allow yourself to find this place within the need a voice for me I have a muscle in the back my muscle says I am the symbol of fear and anxiety I am the symbol of fear of giving too much or not letting in I am the symbol of the fear that you have fastened around your heart but it does not serve you and it does not belong to you but as long as you do not see me I will still be here 
By you seeing me, you can breathe through me. You can release this fear. And step into the peace and the balance within. whatever tension there is in your body we invite you to open up your third eye and center your energy in your heart and there just tell yourself that you're open to perceive whatever support you need in this new beginning in your life that the angels and the beings are always here to help you and support you in your processes if there's one thing there is to remember it is they are only allowed to interfere when you ask them to so if you need help in your process if things is feeling too rough or too heavy or you're confused go to this place within your heart feel this moment and ask them to help you Ask them to guide you. Know that no matter what's going on, and no matter what these new beginnings will bring, there's one fair, one place that you are safe. And this is within your heart center. Breathe deep all the way down through all your chakras. And slowly come back to the room. This was a short meditation. People who know me knows that I do these short versions because it's not for the brain to start, it's for the love to flow and it's for the energy to do its work. If you need to say, sit with it longer, you can simply stop my blah blah <laughs> and, uh, and stay within that state. More and more, we are open for the new levels of consciousness on the earth. More and more people are waking up and connecting to this in that. People are becoming more and more conscious of UFOs, aliens, <laughs> Um, angels and beings it is so important that we stay grounded within our own being not by staying grounded within our ego and our beliefs but staying grounded within our hearts and staying grounded within the person that we are being in this life that we are representing in this life so connecting to the airplanes So connecting to the energies of which we hold and connecting to the energies surrounding us, it is um, important to remember that they are here as guides and they are here as influences. But it must feel right within our heart before we take it in as a part of our own truth. 
there are so many energies wanting to interfere in this time and some of them comes from places that have the agenda other of them comes from the highest of the highest you cannot really judge it but to not get confused within this time um, run everything through, through your heart not through your fear not through your mind not through your thoughts but through your heart if it feels open and soft and free within your heart this is truth within you if there's questions in your mind and and doubts and fears then look at it observe it think about it reflect upon it but do not take it as a part of your truth okay guys this was the what is up with these airplanes yo dudes <laughs> This was the live stream from today and the 8-8 gate meditation. I'm grateful that we're here together. I'm kind of excited about everything to come. And um, yeah, I love you guys. You're doing an amazing job and let's just keep on living this life, no? Get the very best out of it in whatever sense. And the next live stream I will do will be from Serbia. I think we will go there. I well, maybe I'll do one before. I don't know. You know how the energy is, but I think from Serbia, yeah, we'll go there in a few weeks from now. So thank you guys and have a lovely day. Do do we?